what's up everybody? Welcome, hey, I appreciate y'all for tuning in today. My name is John Lewis, AKA Jigs, I'm on the mic, you know what I'm saying? I wanna welcome y'all to Man Cave Monies, that's M-A-N-C-A-V, Money, that's right, Man Cave Money. Oh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all know what I'm saying? We're here, we're gonna talk about men. We're gonna talk about all types of men and situations. So, we really appreciate y'all for tuning in. And in a minute, we're gonna get ready to come right back. We're gonna get with y'all. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Hey, how y'all doing today? Hey, welcome to Man Cave Mondays again. Just want to appreciate y'all and thank y'all for tuning in and out there on Facebook, YouTube, and all the other social media. I uh, just want to let y'all know that again, like, share, and subscribe to Man Cave Mondays. It's going to be M-A-N-C-A-V space M-O-N-D-A-Y-S. So don't forget y'all. M-A-N-C-A-V, and then hit the space bar, and then Mondays, M-O-N-D-A-Y-S. So thank y'all. We appreciate y'all for uh, tuning in to Man Cave Mondays today, man. Uh, just want to let y'all know that today we're going to be talking about, of course, my name is John Williams. I am the host here, and then I have my panel guest today, who is James McGillery. So he will be assisting me today. That is my co-host here. We're going to be laying it down. Y'all know we've been shooting Man Cave Mondays, and everything is going brilliant. Uh, just to let y'all know the subject for today is going to be men that cheat, men that don't cheat, and the consequences behind cheating. Again, men that cheat, men that don't cheat, and the consequences behind cheating. So once again, we appreciate y'all for tuning in to Man K Mondays. It's going to get real juicy today, man. Uh, me and my co-host James going to shut it down. Shut it down. It's happening. We will be right back in just a second, y'all, okay? Appreciate y'all for tuning in. <clears throat> hey, what's up? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Man Cave Mondays. We appreciate y'all for tuning back in. We appreciate y'all for supporting. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe at Man Cave Mondays. That's M-A-N-C-A-V space Mondays, M-O-N-D-A-Y-S. Also, don't forget to check out me uh, next month, April the 1st, at Empowering Bodies Artist Series, man. I'm going to be doing a live performance, so don't forget. But once again, we appreciate y'all for checking in to Man Cave Mondays, man. Uh, y'all do know that the topic today is a juicy topic. We're well. going to be talking about uh, men that cheat, mm -hmm. men that don't cheat, and the consequences behind cheating. So I'm sitting up here thinking in my mind, like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Because I got to be transparent with this, y'all. You know, I ain't no hiding about anything. So, right, because um, men don't cheat. My total synopsis behind men that cheat is that, you know. Men don't look, cheat. <laughs> <laughs> we in the world right now, man. You know what? These last past several years, man, I have learned so much, you know what I'm saying, because of how we think when it comes to relationships and stuff like that, when it comes to cheating. I agree mm -hmm. 100%, men and gentlemen, ladies and women out there that, you know, if you're in a relationship with, shit with somebody, uh, you shouldn't be cheating. But what we say and what we do is two different, two different things. things. Mm -hmm. So um, my synopsis in on just that you shouldn't do it because there is consequences behind it. Uh, even though we can sit here all day and go back and forth about, well, hey, if I'm not married to the chick or the dude, we, you know, or whatever, then, you know what I'm saying? There's just things to think about it because the way things work in society, um, you know what I'm saying? You can say, some people say, well, it's wrong. Some people say, well, I'm single. I can do what I want to do. But I guess we got to look at the integrity side of it. You know what I'm saying? What you think about that, Jay? Yeah, I, I feel you on that. Because a lot of people do feel like if uh, if we're not married, then I'm free. I can do whatever whatever I want to do. Hmm. But, uh, but me personally, if you're going to be in a relationship, take it seriously. And, uh, yeah, don't cheat. Hmm. I'm not going to say I, I never cheated in my life, but uh, if I cheated, it was an accident. Mm. So <laughs> I you can't. cheated by accident. Huh? <laughs> so you just slipped it in. Mm. <laughs> it just I just happened, happened to be in her bed, you know, and then no, not, ended not up that. there. It's <laughs> no. just like somebody, you know what's so funny? Somebody, I had a, a female told me a story. They was like, well, hey, you know what? I was... I was laying down, I went to see my homegirl, and I just woke up, and she happened to be uh, eating me out, and I just let her go ahead and finish, don't you? She got a man and all that. I'm just saying, you just can't accidentally cheat and do it. You know what I'm saying? Right, hey. but I'm not, I'm not talking about that far, <laughs> I'm, I'm, 
<laughs> I'm talking about, you know, because it's, it's still cheating when you uh, flirting. You know, like flirting is still cheating. But some people don't think that flirting is cheating. They think that it's okay to flirt. Like, for instance, would, uh, tell me this. You know, would I be cheating as a man if I was watching TV with my girl and I say, God, dog, man, that chick got a big old booty on TV or she likes a big old breast. Am I cheating? No, but if you in the Walmart and the cashier got a big old booty, you go, God, dog, that's a big old booty. <laughs> that, that's possible cheating because that's that's tangible. You can touch that. You can't, <laughs> you you know, can't, touch, the you can't touch the TV. But uh, but it's, it is a sign of a, a mindset, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, I almost feel like that. You know, if you with somebody and um, even if you sitting at home with somebody and y'all watching something, I just think it's out of respect that I should right. be like, hey. <laughs> I like the way she look on TV or something like yeah. that because you don't know how that person can take it and how they can feel. Right. The, like nowadays, we always find an excuse for, for something our, that for makes our, us feel good for right. ourselves. Oh, I ain't, I ain't mean nothing about it. I can't do nothing with him anyway. It don't matter. Right. Out of respect, you out sitting respect. there with somebody that care about yeah. you. Now you done planted that seed in yep. his or her head like, yeah, it's fool. Kind of like this. I wonder what he'll do when I ain't with him. That's right. There, there you, know you go. You done planted the seed, and now you got to reap what now you, you sow. You got to reap what you sow. That's crazy. Yeah. So, hey, we gonna get right into this first uh, right. topic in reference to talking about this. Uh, and first, I'm we gonna we gonna we gonna talk about what causes men to cheat. Now mm. we got we got to be transparent on this, Jay. Like from your own experience and from other people's experiences what causes men to cheat um we we can start off by saying uh, we can jump right into insecurities yeah. like a man that's insecure maybe he think his chick is already doing it so you know. that's a reason for him mm-hmm. to do it he's insecure about her mm-hmm. so that would cause for him to say well shoot she might be doing it or doing it anyway so I'm just going to go on here and do it. You know what I'm saying? Insecurities, you know, I think that's kind of messed up. But I, I think it's more of a uh, how you was raised. How you were raised? Yeah, because I, when I, I was raised, you know, as you know, you're a man, you're going you gonna to conquer the... <laughs> <laughs> you're going to just get all you can get. Yeah, you gonna, you gonna conquer, you're going to conquer that, that tax of, of, you know, that... Meeting a woman, right. tackling that woman. I know back and, in the day they used to say tackling when they talk right, about having right. sex. But you but, know what? Uh, I, I can I can go because my grandma, you know, Lord bless my mother's soul. I miss my grandma. She or rest in peace, Ruby Dale Moore. She been gone for man twenty years now. But I remember when you say you talk about how family can affect that decision. Yeah. She, I walked into her one day and I was I was going through something with a particular chick, and you know what my grandmother said to me. Well. She said, F them and leave them. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? I looked at her like that. I was like, what Look, she the talking world? She's talking from but she was talking, Maybe she was talking from anger or whatever to seeing her grandson yeah. get hurt. But she was yeah. just like, F them and leave them. You know, and I smiled yeah. at that boy because that, yeah. that tickled a man. That tickled any man to death. Oh, okay, grandma, she old school. She knows what she's talking about. But I, I so, mean, we used, to, we used to walk. We used to actually just, just like this. To test your your manhood to see if you could overcome this woman, this new woman, get some mm. new stuff, you know. And that's that's all it was. But once I once I uh, saw the repercussions because people feelings, people are serious about their feelings. Yeah, I don't been true. I don't been kidnapped, held at gunpoint, <laughs> and, and say, man, give me the D, take it home. Look, you ain't giving nobody man. else this D. I'm gonna put you in the back, tie you up with some duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody else getting this D. Right. Look, Some look. women out there, they crazy like that. Like Boy. that would be a thin line between love and hate. Yeah. Shoot, where the little nappy head girl at? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she was mad, boy. Yeah, but, but, it's, but it's serious, though. It's yeah. serious, man. Could that be co- considered complexes? Like, um, I, I think that's what more uh, complex. A, a complex, I believe a, a, a person have a complex when, when they're when they have an accomplished girl, she's accomplished. So they you, got you didn't you didn't you didn't mature till you was thirty. This uh. girl is on. She's on her. You know, even, even my son. Oh, I hate to put this out there, but even with kids, I seen I seen little boys didn't stand up and earn their clothes for school to about the eighth grade. Mm. 
girls was doing it in the sixth grade. They mature differently. So he got an accomplished woman, and she's doing her thing, and he's sitting up here. No, I'm, I'm hustling. I'm going to see what they're going to do down here. But he mm. probably got it because he he yellow. You know, yeah, <laughs> ain't no yellow guys in here. Ain't no yellow guys in here. complex. Your but, little light-skinned brothers, y'all ain't in. Light, let me tell you something. Light-skinned brothers, y'all are no longer in. You'll <laughs> never be in no more. Dark-skinned, bald head, dark-skinned with beard. We run the game. You know what I'm saying? We run the game now. The Wesley Snipes. <laughs> the dark-skinned Wesley Snipes and, and a Flavor Flav. <laughs> flavor Flav can get a woman. You remember, you, Bro, you know, saw Flavor yeah, Love. He had about 30 of them. Yeah, kissing them. Kidding. I'm like, ugh. I mean, like, oh, my God. But, um. Uh, but that could sure. I guess it, it could be like selfishness too. Cause yeah. selfishness. When you say selfishness, I'm like, how do I consider myself be selfish if I cheated? Like what? that is selfish. Selfish is the heart of cheating. You're not thinking about nobody but yourself. Well, that other person thinking about somebody, right? Could it be you battling between that other person? You and Davo and you? What you mean? <laughs> that, that, that man, that, that middle man down in that middle man down in the middle, like, go on and get it, Jay. Get that kid in. You know nah, you <laughs> See, that's, see, that's what I was saying. And then you're having a fight going on, like, man, I know I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, so that's what but I was then saying. then she get the rub on that head, boy. That's what I was saying you're earlier. Like, want me to get that Jezebel. You know what I'm saying? Be like, come on, you know you but, bump but this. You, but you you're, you're a male Jezebel at this point, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you really is because you don't, you don't have no guard. Yeah, so, okay? so, so, no, okay? that's, no, that's not okay. If you're not like, married to it, is that, no, is, that's, that's not being selfish. That's not okay, even if you're single. Even if you're single? Even if you're single, that's not okay. Why not, Dave? What, what about David because, Solomon? Because even though this, so, you're single, right? So you can plant, <laughs> you, you can do whatever you want to do with anyone. All the seeds you I'm want trying, to plant. I'm trying to, be, I'm trying to say it nice, right? Say it nice. So, I want you to get rugged and raw with it. So I'm going to be rugged right, and raw. So, no, no, so, so, so you're going to go around, you're going to lay down, you're going to sin, you're going to pick up these spirits from this person, and now you're walking around ah. with all these spirits on you, and you don't figure, you can't, now you, you ain't going to never figure out who you are and your purpose because you got to now figure out What's all this stuff you got in you now? Ah, so spirit, so, so, y'all. So Listen spirit. To that. Ding, 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 ding. Time to put on the gargamels and tell the truth. <laughs> yes. Spiritual connection. There you go. Yep. Y'all don't understand that. When you go out and sleep with different people, right? it's a spiritual thing. You know, a lot of people say, well, Christian folks, we talking all this Jesus and all this. No, no, no. Coming straight from the Bible and from experience. Right. If you sleep with somebody that has a depression spirit on them, that probably can fall on you. If you sleep with somebody that has bipolar issues, that probably can follow you. If you sleep with somebody that has sexual addiction, that probably can follow you. If you sleep on somebody that's violent, mm -hmm. a violent past, them spirits can jump. You know what I'm saying? Up to seven times. But people, times. They, don't, they don't want to talk about that. Mm, up to seven times. Yeah. So you got to think about it. When you are out there cheating, you know that, you know, bringing spirits into your house. And you wonder why that person want to knock you out. This person <laughs> has become violent. This person has become depressed. Mm -hmm. This person has mm -hmm. bipolar. All these different, like you say, these different spirits. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We have to be careful of that as women and men. Because right. when, I, when you out there sleeping with different, you know, you have to be very careful, period, of the type of people that you're messing with. Because you could sleep with some chick and be sitting right at your door. Fatal attraction. If you've seen the movie, and you ain't going nowhere, you open up your door. You got a cake with a butcher knife sitting in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. or you go outside, all your car windows is busted. All your windows busted. And, and, and you know, what I'm saying a coochie on that mug or something. Seven some lips with some lip gloss on it, some lipstick written on it. Talking about suck, I got you. Seven so, guys standing at your door. Man, <laughs> you know. So, but um. You know, selfishness, I'm with you on that, James, because a lot of it, like you just said, really the main point of what you said, I like that sleeping with different people can bring spiritual ties. Mm -hmm. You know, that maybe that's why you shouldn't be sleeping anyway until you get married. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, yeah. I got the gargoyles on y'all, so I got to tell the truth. Yeah. Sex before marriage, fornication, it's gargoyles. Stop it. Okay, <laughs> so... uh. 
So, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so anyway, like if y'all there sleeping around, messing around, <laughs> around with people like that. Don't get the spirit of ties on y'all like that, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, you know, it is what it is like that, man. Yeah. But I mean, could there be like what would be some consequences, Jay? What you think behind cheating? One of we just said spiritual ties. Spiritual ties, yeah. Another Uh-oh. consequence is uh, baby mama drama. Oh Lord! Now, man, you now know you I, talking about my alley, bowling I, ball, like this. <laughs> <laughs> baby mama drama. Wait. Be careful who you have children with, men. We talking to the men right now, ladies. Yeah. I know this is we yeah. talking respiration for men. You, I men. see you. If you raise your hand, men. I see you. I right see the camera. You. Take these right here, right here. Yeah. Be careful who you have children with. Because you don't know they pass, hmm. they behavior, how they will react to it. If you break up, how they gonna react? Are they bitter? Are they have issues they haven't dealt with in their past? Yeah, you know you don't know what that girl done been through. How many Negroes have done her wrong, and how she got that stuff is way back in that subconscious, I guess somewhere. And when you do it, it's gonna trigger something crazy. Mm-hmm. Now you got this crazy chick. Who probably claims she pregnant and might not be period like Fatal Attraction, mm-hmm. remember? She was messed with that married dude and she's like, oh, I got a baby. And what did this fool do, y'all? He calmed down. First he was on 100. Yeah. Get out, try to choke you. Yeah. All of a sudden she said, I got your baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Slipped him a Mickey. <laughs> you know, you done, you done put that Mickey on him. Now he, 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 he don't know what to do, man. I mean, wow. what Hey, so, Jane, so, I mean, let's talk about this men who don't cheat and consequences behind it. Now, here's my, that's that's kind of hard for me to to fathom, you know, when it comes to men who, who don't cheat and then they getting consequences behind it. That must be an off-the-chain chick, you know what I'm saying? Because this chick's <laughs> out here looking for a, a good man. And he, yeah. he at home taking care of business, doing what he needs to do. Paying no bills or sharing the bills. Because, you know, women nowadays, they think men are supposed to pay all the bills. I say, no, ma'am. Keep it moving. Because this is a two-way thing. We live in a society now mm-hmm. where it takes two wicked incomes to work. Not just one because you're a man. And it don't make you weak being a man. Ding, 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 ding. Sharing. Oh, mm-hmm. is that Gorgamel time? Yeah. Gorgamel. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Okay. Now, just because you are a man. It does not make you weak if you are sharing the household bills. And if a situation arises that you lose your job and you may the a woman may have to pick up the slack or the man may have to pick up the slack, it is okay. People stop condemning each other when something happens because money always ain't going to be there for you. That big old check you getting at some point in your life, God might knock you down. Arms too short to box with God. You might get knocked down, whether it's God allowed it or the devil wants to do like he did Job Mm -hmm. and took everything from him. But the thing about Job was he got returned double fold. That's right. Some of you fools out there living foul. So you ain't got no covering. So who say you going to get it back? All I'm saying is it takes two to make it work. Right. Women stop feeling like men have to do a hundred percent of everything. That's why most of y'all are <laughs> single and <laughs> will not have a man. Let me move off to Gorgon because I'm getting a little bit too vicious. Okay, Gorgon Mills, welcome back. Yep. I gotta hey, get I don't know. You hit him in the head. Uh, you... uh, <laughs> hey y'all, let me uh, send me a comment, tell me to stay away from the Gorgon But anyway, <laughs> But anyway, getting back to what we were talking about, those gargamels is powerful, boy. Shoot. Ooh, Lord. But uh, anyway, <laughs> men is suffer consequences because they don't cheat. Right. Maybe because the woman, the woman <clears throat> thinks you weak. She think you're a buster. Mm-hmm. Easy to get over on. She want her a hardcore dude. She want her one of them hustlers, them hood dudes that's going to beat her upside the head or that's going to just do some crazy stuff. Ain't even beating her upside the head because I'm just, I'm just trying to show you what I see out there as a man. I done been around the block a stretch of times and a lot of these women out here, these ones are actually cheating or having issues with a dude because he's not cheating. I guess it goes back to saying poly marriages because one chick was on, I seen chicks on 
social media talking about they looking for a situation to get two or three chicks to roll with them with one dude. Right. <clears throat> what you think about that, Jay? I mean, it, consequences and you not cheating? Yeah. So, uh, so the consequences of not cheating are very positive, especially if you meet the right woman with the same mindset. Now, now, now you have when God say he when when he two that he joins together become one. So now we have this couple with one mindset, and it's nothing but positivity, because especially with the same with the same mind and goals. So no cheating. Uh, you have you see you look for a lot of people now who want that stability, mm. but they can't get the stability with all the foul living, with all the cheating, all the corruption. Cause what? Corruption reaps corruption. So you're going to wonder why you keep going in these same circles. Right. But when you got two people that concentrate and not and not cheating and trying to move forward, they can they can build up that they can build that up. Uh, another thing uh, is that when you when you are not cheating, most people look at people who are not cheating and Christians as as a, a God fearing person, mm. but you can be a God fearing person and still fall short. So it's mm. it's, it's not it's not just because they are so called Christian, mm. but it's a heart and a lifestyle matter. So it's yeah. it's got to be it's got to be a a, a purpose driven, right. like you doing it on and, purpose. And they call them people that call themselves spiritual, like not not, they not necessarily don't cause, have a relationship cause, with, uh, with uh, Christ, but they just have a a moral thinking, right? Because uh, I'm not. I, I start to call this guy's name, but I'm not going to call his name. But he considered himself a, a very spiritual person, and he's in a, a poly relationship. But he's a spiritual person. He gives spiritual guidance, so to but speak. Poly, but he's in a poly relationship. Yeah. So, so to me, to me, for me, that's that's still a level of corruption. So now, can a woman? Well, I ain't gonna say can. There's plenty of women forgive men all the time for cheating all day long, four or five times. I got a homegirl right now say that, you know, she was in a situation with a dude and he, not only was he cheating on her, but he was beating on her and just doing everything. He didn't care. And he couldn't even work it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, this dude has some stuff going on. This, this off the chain. We're going to have to do with something on what she told me because that was pretty. You brothers that can't get it up, it don't work. You know, but, he cheat, cheat, but he cheating. But you cheating. Somebody lying. Something going wrong. <laughs> How you gonna be out there cheating and he can't even work? Yeah. He must be Pac-Man. I, I don't yeah, know about all that. I don't know about <laughs> all that. You eat him like a mosquito. My, my Y'all really is, eat him truly like a mosquito. I'm looking right at the, the camera. Out of. I don't know nothing about that. I'm like, I'm like, here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say walk on walk on walk. <laughs> forgiveness, but like forg- forgiveness, real talk. Yes, I don't know, it's hard man. for a man to forgive. What you think, Jay? I say, I say, I for- I forgive, but I won't forget. Okay. So is that really forgiving? <sighs> let's go to the <laughs> So. Yeah. You, if you forgive somebody for that, then you need to put it behind you and move on. Here is another ding ding from from the books of Gargamel. If you can't not forgive, then you don't need to be in a relationship. If you need help, like <laughs> some of you females, y'all need mental help because you will not let it go. You will carry it three or four relationships over. Wow. Coming from the Chronicles of Gargamel. Um, you need to go get some counseling to help you to deal with your heart and forgiveness and what you can do to get you involved in some things to get your mind maybe set off of it you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. and my advice females if you are with a man and you cannot forgive him you don't need to be with no man until you honestly can say it does not come up in your mind if you with a dude he cheat on you and you move on to the next relationship and you checking the next phone checking the phone with the next dude you don't need to be in no relationship you need to be healing you need to be Healing, you're not healed. I don't care who you're looking for. I don't care 
whatever y'all call Denzel, whoever you call nowadays, which mm-hmm. they ain't all that, but whoever you call, heal first, then move into a relationship. So you won't be out there sneaking in the phone, checking his phone when he sleep, going to his crib, looking up under the bed, looking in the closet. God knows who wants to hide a woman up under the bed. What if it's right. a big chick? Where's she going? You don't say no. You right. know, how you gonna get her up under the bed? <laughs> okay, we're moving the gargamels off. Y'all, you're getting a little bit too vicious. But anyway, getting back to forgiveness. You know, we definitely need to forgive. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I'm gonna say it like this. You know. And plus, I, when you forgive, you become you can you become whole. So don't you don't go into another relationship until you in a, in a, into another relationship yeah. until you become whole. Until you become whole and, and that's for men, men and women. Yeah. yeah. And if you have hate or bitterness in your heart, man, you need to get that right. Not only within yourself, but you need to be praying and asking God to remove right. that from your heart. The Bible says, yeah. "Bitterness rottenest the bone." You mm-hmm. don't understand that. <laughs> Being bitter could tear you up on the inside. It's cool into and the turn brain. into actual reality sickness. I mean, yeah. some of y'all need to read y'all Bible and understand. Like Jane says, sleeping with different women or men give you spiritual ties. If you have bitterness and hate for someone in your spirit, your heart, it can cause you to have health issues. Yeah. yeah. Coming from the That's preacher, right. y'all. Yeah. And 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 not only that, but now you can't. Let me say, it's a, I can't remember who said it, but now you can't get, you can't gravitate to the type of man you want mm. because now your spirit's going to draw those type of spirits mm-hmm. and you're going to constantly be in this cycle mm-hmm. over and over and over until mm-hmm. you, until you get your stuff right, until you get your you get right. whole, until and, you get and, your and, stuff and, made and, whole. And, and, and just before we wrap this up, y'all, I'm going to put this out there for men. And that's, that's through God. Um. Man, God. stop being fatal attraction, bro. Forgiving a chick. Forgive it, move on. Get yeah. something that can yeah. o- occupy your time. Stop creeping around the corner, peeking around the back of the window, trying to see if she's in there with whoever or whatever. Do I do know all it's that? a hard situation. You may have to get people involved in your life. Other men, friends. Let it, let it be men, men that are mature, not dudes that are just trying to put bad stuff in your head because right. of what happened. You need to get with mature individuals, men-wise, that can help you get through that hurt. Because if not, you'll find yourself hurting somebody right. or behind her door. Scorn her. Don't think men don't scratch windows and bust windows too and put sugar in the tank. Yes, they do it. Or be hiding on the side of the wall or be at the school peeking to see who she walking up with when she picking up her children. I've seen it. It happens. So I'm saying men especially because we are talking about men and restoration. Right. Right. If you're dealing with a chick that cheated on you, man, get some help. Get involved. Weightlifting. Play basketball. Keep dudes around you. Get on the phone. I would say jump to another chick, but I don't want you hurting somebody else. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't. Don't. Good. Be to yourself until you heal. Right. You say, yeah. Get up out of here. No, nah, you saying it. You saying it. So you saying it. Man, we need to do that. For all the men that's looking around the United States right now, I'm telling you, if you get cheated on by a chick, it's okay. I know I could be saying, oh man, you just said it's okay. No. Because don't be that dude that get cheated on, bust a car window, mm-hmm. bust and kick a door open, act like you got a gun, put your hands on her, be violent, because you're gonna yeah. end up in jail. With a case yeah. years down the line, that you're gonna be regretting that decision because yeah. you didn't walk away from that situation and allow forgiveness to set in your heart. Now your life is screwed because right. you got to deal with how to make it becoming a felon who has a record of domestic Holy violence life, mm-hmm. and uh, criminality. I'm sorry, it's the truth. I'm just yep. being real truth with you, man. That's it. I don't uh, see no man go through this no more. Mm-hmm. If a chick cheat on you, bro. Move on. move on. And if you got to move on and get a few chicks <laughs> to help you get it out your system, I'm yeah. sorry to say it, but I'm just, I'm not trying to put that out. I'm not trying to say go out there and get you no chicks. See, I'm just trying to say get out of that situation. That yeah. situation can put you in jail for life and don't do, cause you heartache. Yeah, don't do evil for evil. Don't do don't you evil for evil. evil with good, man. Evil for evil. So yeah, don't do it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up, y'all. I appreciate everybody for tuning in today, man. We're talking about men that cheat, men that don't cheat, the consequences behind cheating and not cheating. Uh, please, 
my host, James McGilvery, he always here. This is my right-hand man. If I can't count on nobody, I can count on Jay. You know what I'm saying? We were supposed to have a whole panel of people here today, y'all. I'm going to put it out there. Be in there. When we in there, get it get it popping to help us make this thing happen, man. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes we, you know, people have situations. I do have a homegirl that had a family emergency and some mm-hmm. other things came up. So those things it's are good. understandable. Good. But I'm talking about them, them fools that want to be part, part of the restoration and the movement of strong men that want to be in it, but they all talk. Don't come with you. Don't jump on when it's time, when the train is moving, bro, because I personally going to stick my foot and kick you out. I'm letting you know. Don't get on it. But anyway, hey, please like, share, subscribe. Holla at your boy, John Williams, Jigsaw, a.k.a. Karen. But don't forget, come check me out April the 1st in Fort Worth, Texas, man. I'll be doing the Empowering uh, Artist Series, man. I'm the main artist for y'all checking it out. Just hit me up and find out more information. Big shout out to the, my host, James McGill, for being here, man. Always there for me. Big shout out to those that couldn't make it in tonight, man. I pray for safety and situations that they're going through right now because we don't know exactly what's going on with their family. Pray pray over them that everything is good, y'all. So, um, other than that, man, don't forget like, share, and subscribe. Man K Mondays, M A N C A V slash Mondays. Check us out. we growing, y'all. Men, don't forget, think twice. You're in the situation. Think about doing the right thing or the wrong thing. Let mm-hmm. it take cause being right. right. Stay away from situations that cause you to lose your life or be put in jail. Right. right. Don't cheat. Don't you cheat. Don't, have to. <laughs> Don't cheat. Hey, she going right. through your phone, bro. She got your phone, bro. That's the phone. <laughs>